Hello, hello, Sarah of SEK Handmade here, and today I'm going to share with you how to start off in Tunisian crochet. I want to tell you that this is going to be a series of videos for people who are very new beginners to Tunisian crochet. If you are an adventurous beginner crocheter or a more advanced crocheter, um, this is such a fun way to expand your crocheting. Tunisian crochet is not hard once you have the basics of crochet down, and it has so many gorgeous textures and stitches. I cannot more highly recommend it. Now, you can see that for this tutorial, I'm just using a worsted weight yarn and my furls crochet hook. If you are doing a Tunisian project, an actual pattern of any size, you are going to need a Tunisian specific crochet hook. But since I'm just showing you the basics here, and since we're just going to make a teeny tiny little swatch, <laughs> um, I this is a great way to play around before investing in any um, new tools. So all you need is a crochet hook that has some amount of a straight shaft on it just to practice. So just like regular crochet, for Tunisian crochet you're going to start by making a um, slip knot and sliding it on to your crochet hook. And then for the purpose of just playing around we're going to chain some chains. Any number of chains. I'm going to say probably under 10 will keep you in this straight part of your crochet hook. Um, if you're creating a pattern, of course, you want to do the number of stitches that they recommend in the pattern. So I'm just simply going to make a few chains here. And again, if you're just playing around, you can make any number of chains that you would like. All right, so you have the front part of your chain that looks like a braid, but if you flip it over, you can see that the back side of your chain has these little bumps and those are what we're going to work with to do our Tunisian crochet. We're going to go to the second bump from our hook, so your second chain, and we're going to work into the back bump simply by sticking your hook through just that back bump, just straight through and you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull up a loop. Now, one of the ways that Tunisian crochet is different from regular crochet is that you stack up the loops all on your hook to make your stitches. So this is what we're doing. We're just setting up for Tunisian crochet stitches. So I'm going to find that back bump of my chain again, stick my hook through the back bump, and pull up another loop. Again, I'm going to find my back bump, stick my hook through, and pull up a loop. And I'm just going to keep going until I have the correct number, until I've gone through all my chains, which should be <laughs> the correct number of stitches that you need for your project, or whatever number of stitches you want to play with. And that is how you start off and set up for Tunisian crochet. Instructions are down in the description. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any tips and tutorials and check out the rest of my beginner Tunisian crochet videos to learn more about Tunisian crochet. Happy crafting!